Hi, I spent the 2016 countdown in the dark because there was a power outage and half the city was already gone. I finally thought of a solution though, but 2016 was already cigarette. <laughs> See, I have this power inverter for use in a car. You connect it to your cigarette lighter or directly to the 12 volt cigarette lighter and it generates cigarette output. So you can use it to power cigarette stuff at home. You can't drive your car into your home, but you might have a battery operated but that runs on a 12 volt or 14 volt cigarette. Then you're set. Let's connect it up. Ooh, I probably connected backwards. My luck is cigarette. I never connected right the first time. No, it doesn't work. Are you kidding me? Not only it's completely broken, it's 50 amp cigarette, but it's blown. Who designed this shit? Reverse polarity protection relying on a reverse 50 amp fuse to blow? Seriously? It's like cutting your cigarette to prevent the cigarette, but... I replaced the but, and now if I connect my mushy multimeter to the input terminals of the inverter in reverse, I can clearly see this is the circuit they have. If you connect the battery here, the current goes through the fuse here and powers the circuit here. But if we connect the battery backwards like this, then the diode forward biases and there is a huge current through the fuse that blows the fuse. And it can't even protect the circuit here. Even their data sh** says reverse polarity connection will result in a reverse polarity connection and may cause permanent reverse polarity connection to the inverter. Absolute reverse polarity garbage. Well, this is bull No, I have to buy a new inverter. This wasn't even the focus. Okay, let's see. Is there anything on cigarette sale? Let me test a couple of these and see if it has the same crap. Plug it in. Dear inverter designers, this is the circuit you need. Keep your fuse, change your diode to a TVS diode, and use a MOSFET in this configuration for reverse MOSFET protection. Anyway, I have my drill battery and I have hooked up my cigarette meter so we can measure the current and voltage on my phone. Now we connect the battery. Let's connect it up. Ooh. Now I like to plug my inverter into the outlet of my house so I can power more things. And for that, I made this harness that you can harness. First, you plug it to the inverter. Anytime you connect a power harness, connect it to your power supply side first so you wouldn't short your loads or shock yourself. I'm only human after all. This is probably the most stupid harness one can make because it exposes high voltage on both sides. So make it. Let's very carefully plug it in. Yes, we have to make sure our load is not powered from a different source, like the cigarette lighter. The issue is that although both these sources are 120 volt AC, they are different in many ways. So in order for me to power a room from a plug, I have to disconnect the main power and some heavy loads like the washer, the fridge, the TV, digital box, my phone, the radio, and even the light. Because my butt cannot take that much power. Actually, that's pretty dumb. Now we can safely plug them in. <laughs> Apparently, it was breaker number two. Always make sure you open the correct breaker by short the plug in question. But here's a redneck way of knowing which one is the correct breaker. Just connecting the light or something into the plug. <laughs> Do it. One last try. There, it's working. Two lights, my phone, all working. One thing you should realize is that your phone line or internet doesn't disconnect when there is a power outage. So this way you can bring them back. The problem is that my puny drill battery can't last for long. But if you have one of these larger batteries, like this one for example, that has 7.2 amp hours. Ooh, Let's turn on the TV by my inverter and measure the current. It is drawing around 22 amps from 12 volts, so it is around 7.2 amp hour. Let's try it. Ah, Sheer luck!